This is my Chamberlain Whisper Drive Plus 3 quarter inch garage door opener. Uh, what I'm going to do is program my remote. Uh, they say learn it, but I'm going to screw this light first so you can see better. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to program this remote right here. This is a remote that came out of my truck. So first of all, what you want to do is hit this purple button, which is the learn button. And you notice that this light lights up. It's going to stay on for 30 seconds and it'll go off. So you got to program it within 30 seconds. So once I push that, I want to come here and hold whatever button I want. And you're going to hear it click. I'm going to hold it. You heard the click, but if the light was in, it'll blink. So now it's programmed. That's all to it. So I'm going to turn the light on. We're going to do it again. We're going to hit the learn button. And you probably can barely see the light, but it's lit up. Then I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit my button that I want to program. You're going to notice that the light is going to blink. And that's it. You can also program your handheld remote without using the learn button on the garage door opener. You can use your wall mount unit right here that I'm showing. And it's pretty simple. I like doing it this way. So the only thing you got to do is push the button you want to program. At the same time, hit the light button and the door down button. And you'll hear it click. And that's it. I'm going to show you how to clear all the coals on your Chamberlain garage door openers. It's pretty easy. Pretty simple to do. But let me show you that this one is working. And I push the button. See it's going up. And down. Okay. Only thing you have to do to clear, you go to this learn button and you push it in and hold it for about six to 10 seconds until that light goes out. Once the light go out, all the coals are clear. You will have to reprogram all your garage door openers. Okay, the light went out. Let me show you. When I push this button, nothing happened. I'm going to show you how to program your keyless entry pin on your keypad. I'm going to turn the light off so you can see the learn button. You click the learn button. I'm going to turn the light back on so you can see it blink. And you have 30 seconds to enter your pin. So we're going to go enter a pin. We're going to use one, two, three, four. You hit enter and hold it until the light blinks. Once it blinks, let it go. And your pin has been programmed. Say for instance, you want to change an existing code. The only thing you will have to do, my code is one, two, three, four. You enter your code, one, two, three, four. You hit the number sign and your light blinks twice. And then you enter your new code. We're going to try it two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. You hit enter and hold it. And you notice your light blinks once. So now your new code is two, three, four, five. So that's all you have to do to change the existing code. Let's change it back to one, two, three, four. So first we have to enter the existing code, which is two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Hit the pound. Notice it blinked twice. And we're gonna enter a new code, which is one, two, three, four, hit enter and hold it, and the light blinks once. That's all. So the code right now is one, two, three, four. Say for instance, you wanna give someone access to your garage, maybe a family member or a service person for a certain amount of hours. So you can enter a, a temporary passcode that can last up to 100, I mean 255 hours. So let me show you how to do that. First, you got to enter your code, which my code right now is one, two, three, four. So you enter one, two, three, four, and you hit the star and hold it. You notice that the light's gonna blink three times. Once it blinks, now you come back and enter your temporary code, which we're gonna call it nine, 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 nine. Nine, 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 nine. Press and hold to enter. You notice that it's gonna blink four times. So now you're going to enter the number of hours that you want this code to exist. Let's say four hours. So you hit four, then you're going to hit this star 
you notice it's going to blink once. It blinked once, so now that temporary code is set for four hours.